So day five and we are finishing up. So we're gonna do a recap from a few days ago when we were cleaning house and you can see a lot of our plants that we're gonna be putting into a coffee shop. So take a look at that. Here's a little flashback. All right, so using the morning to do some straightening up, but thought we would also show you uh, what happens when you're opening a coffee shop that has plants and then you're also babysitting plant yeah. people's plants that are in the U.S. Mm -hmm. on top of all your other plants. So that are personal plants. We'll do a, a quick plant tour of what's happening in our house right now as we clean the floors and try to get all the dust up. So please ignore any messes that you might see. So here we have a few that we're starting with here. Baby fiddles. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alocasia. This one is got a this little bit one, neglected. Yeah, we stuck him outside and the Spanish heat within yeah, one day I was... Yeah, about him. Sorry. Yeah, he's but coming he's, back though. Yeah. Big fiddle. Big fiddle fig. This is Maranata. This is a prayer plant. This is a really cool plant. It's very touchy and very... Finicky. Finicky, thank you. Yeah. Um, almost more than our fiddles because it can only take, it seems, distilled water because it has a phosphate issue and the leaves turn brown. But it's cool because at nighttime the leaves kind of like point upward like it's praying. That's why it's called a, a prayer plant a lot of times. So yeah, it's a cool one. Then we have the classic ZZ. This ZZs. Is where we're babysitting. Emerald palms. Oh, almost tripped on the vacuum cleaner. This is our black ZZ, raven ZZ that we propagated and is slowly going back. Then we have uh, Monstera, which I like in Spanish, it's called Costilla de Adan, Adam's rib, because I guess if you look at the leaves, uh, it kind of has like a rib look to it. Uh, a fern down there, um, which is not doing so well, but is coming back slowly. We have, um, a golem, uh, a golem subspecies of something. I'm not sure what I forgot that one, but because uh, it or ogre ears sometimes because the ears the leaves look like little ogre ears. And more black ZZs, and then uh, little tinies, a few tropicals, small chefalera, and we have a little vertical garden with some pothos. We tried to transplant some money plants, not so well from this big mommy money plant up here. And then we have our pothos, that was the original, which has done pretty well. This is not a plant, but um, it's about as stationary as a plant is, and you just kind of give it food and water. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's got a nice black and white pattern on it there. Oh, whoa! It wakes. It, it moves. It's a it moving wakes. plant. This is our original spider plant, which is a giant mama right now. Um, a few others that we are plant sitting. Some macrame on the wall. A staghorn fern. Our collection of snake plants. You can see some more little monsters in the background there. And some more pothos. And then some more pothos. And some more snake plants. And yeah, so that is the tour of our room right now. So quite a lot a <laughs> of plants going on here. But anyway, yep, we'll keep you updated on progress. And this video is probably a little too long, but hope you enjoyed it. Say bye-bye. Bye. Hi, we're going to meet with uh, the landlords in just a second. Uh, we're going to um, just continue to work on that relationship and they wanted to see the space and they needed to pass us some facturas, some invoices for the rent coming up and all that. So we'll, uh, you'll see them shortly, the back of their heads in just a moment. Also, I just wanted to talk about um, the floor um, because we had talked about in one of the last videos that we weren't sure how they're gonna be using the styrofoam. And the styrofoam, they are using it as sort of like an insulator, according to the architect. They're putting in a layer on the very bottom and then they're putting semen on top of that. And then as you'll see in the video in just a second, they're going to put a lot of the tubing, all of the plumbing in the floor um, to be able to run it through the space to get us where we need to for 
the water for the coffee machine and bathrooms and kitchen and all that. So um, you'll see a clip in just a minute shortly.